right guys, so we're going on some uh, overnight wilderness uh, camping, fishing. Well, we're going on a location. I've never camped before. I've been there before, but I never camped there before. I've been there on some uh, scrap metal digging. And uh, the river is uh, relatively wide there. And uh, back then I thought, hey, let's go and try and uh, do some fishing here. It's a little bit difficult to reach. The legendary plane, the steering wheel makes uh, or ensures that I don't get lazy and just sit and daydream. So uh, that's another plus with an old Soviet uh, off-road vehicle. Also, make sure that you are subscribed and will resubscribe because I can see YouTube is, at, is added again as usual. Uh, so many of you guys, as you write me, are most likely been unsubbed again, again. But that's just how that is. If you want to support the channel, channel projects and so on, then uh, there will of course be links in the, in the description and in a pinned comment to that as well. Thank you very much to you guys who support the channel, new members and all that good stuff. That's really, really awesome. But we are going a little bit uh, further out than uh, our normal uh, established camp. So maybe we'll establish a camp out there if we can uh, get into the territory. Please uh, remember to hit the like button if you want to see more content like this. I just hit the like button in general, of course, uh, helps the video to be discovered and all that good stuff. So that's our normal campsite. We're going a few kilometers further. We're just checking up on it. Somebody has been driving here. You can see that something weird is going on. I just want to check our campsite, see if there's nobody. Yeah, that's been uh, messing it up, but. Normally here the law of the tiger rules, meaning that you don't mess with other people's stuff. It doesn't look like they have been messing with our campsite. Oh, everything looks nice. Awesome. Hello guys. <laughs> Let's see where we're going. This is where we are right now. This is a logging road. We have a bend there and so on. And then further out here, we have an old village more like that but it uh, doesn't really matter we have the river running there but uh, all the way along here there's an old um, fire trench you know that they plow with bulldozers uh, as we should protect against fires i can hear thunder uh, yeah we have thunderstorms but anyway we want to get uh, from this uh, main logging road out to somewhere around here then we're going to set up a camp Anyway, let's continue. So we are in location about 300 meters out there somewhere. We have the, the river and uh, as you can see, somebody have been here and driven out there. That's the logging road and so a Russia vehicle. Uh, but that's a good thing. Uh, maybe they've been digging metal or something. I would assume. What's good about it is that we can uh, drive as fast as possible in their tracks. It's a very narrow vehicle. I don't know what the hell they've been driving. But uh, it's a pretty dangerous place to drive because there's a lot of old wells and stuff. They've been uh, driving out from here. I'm alone in the Survivor Russia vehicle, but uh, I have an idea what we can do to make it a little bit uh, easier or safer for one person anyway. We can take some uh, old sticks and stuff, throw it there and then throw some uh, some more sand on top of it and uh, we should uh, be able to get a little bit uh, better surface to crawl over to there and then out there if we were multiple people I would most likely not do this but it's not taking too long but well, this should give us a little bit easier approach Let's see how it goes. I didn't serve in an engineer regiment in vain. <laughs> but you can see it's very very narrow vehicle.
We're on the low range. Rain starting. Well, we made it. We're just out uh, scouting the road ahead of us a little bit. You see the other guys have been driving here. It's a very funky vehicle they've been driving. I think we have one of the old wells over there. And, ah, we can get straight out there on that side. I think that's the old village uh, road actually. And then we just have to go in that direction. We are on the way. Now we have uh, something big. We have been sleeping. Hopefully Hopefully a moose, but it doesn't really look like a moose because normally you can see where the head have been. Probably a bear. <laughs> Super awesome. Super awesome, but we have the river. Should be right out there somewhere. I don't know if that's firewood. That's what I'm talking about. An old collapsed well. I almost uh, stepped in it. It's not that deep, but... Uh, for a car, it's definitely deep. <laughs> you can see there's been a house here. Most likely the whole field burned down at some point. And we have another big well hole over there. That's why I stopped over there, because I saw this guy here. And as I said, I've been here before, metal detecting. Not that I remember this specific location. I'm still trying to figure out, are we gonna camp here or what? All right, guys. So I used the vehicle here to, uh, Flatten down the the grass. <laughs> it's a nice uh, straight, uh, relatively straight, soft area. We have some firewood there. Hello. So it took some time digging a trench here around our fireplace. This, of course, takes a little bit of an effort <laughs> in such a in such a tall grass. The problem, or potential problem here, is of course that. We have all this stuff here. It's like a sphagnum, sphagnum, or whatever we want to call it. Because in such conditions, it is possible actually to start a, a root fire, and that means that the, you start a fire in the in the upper root. Maybe we, will, yeah, start a fire here in the in the root layer, right? But it will not crawl out anywhere else. This stuff can uh, smolder for like. <laughs> A week or two or something like this and uh, all of a sudden the whole field is on fire and uh, that would not be so great and that's this stuff here potentially potentially can do Then we need to get some some fire going because there's just too many big unpleasant flies, vampire flies. That is, of course, that is not awesome. No, I don't have matches or lighter on me anyway. Oh, you know where. This is just a symbol, basically.
That's the real rainbow. Not the woke one. And it's going down right down on the Survival Russia vehicle. Awesome. All right, guys. So just a, a little, uh, a little bite to eat. Some uh, raw garlic, some stewed uh, pork with uh, peas and onion. It's super awesome. It's very quiet here right now. I was a little bit of doubt about the location here in the beginning when we arrived but uh, I have a good feeling about it now <laughs> too, too, too many animal tracks <laughs> and possible bear tracks and we have some big bear here uh, in these areas I'll show you some footage from uh, not long ago this is a big guy this is a front pole you can see we have some more tracks here There, it's actually been running. You can see. That is interesting. It's a big guy. Big guy. And there as well. So there's been two. Probably mom with a calf or something like this. So that's not a small bear, and that was a mama bear with a cop or two. I couldn't really see how many there were. But uh, hopefully, hopefully she's watching and telling her cops that uh, don't go there. There's humans. Humans have guns, and uh, humans are not awesome in general. Uh, we are not really that awesome. <laughs> we can be awesome. That's a different matter. If we want to, that's why I say always do something awesome. So I think we're gonna just. Uh, Pitch the tent here. Try the new uh, the new gas burner there, which I got from uh, Dima. Spasibo Dima. And uh, just get into the tent and uh, relax. The earlier we sleep, the earlier we get up and uh, get some fishing done. That's after all what we're here for. This tent here is just so easy to work with and it weighs only two kilos. I think we're gonna need to make some coffee. I think go to bed. How weird that uh, sounds. <laughs> Let's light it up. Well, let's get the let's get the mess kit on if it fits. It kind of fits. What's awesome is that uh, my mess kit is not gonna get uh, blackened and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> That's of course a big plus. So let's get some coffee and get some coffee. It shouldn't take long. There's like two cups there. It's quarter past eight. Sun's going down. Mosquitoes are coming out. <laughs> that was fast. And that is off. And we have a cup of coffee. How awesome is that? And the mess kit is not blackened. I'm most likely just gonna lay in the tent and think of clever things. <laughs> no milk. That is not so awesome. I just realized something. No, I don't have to take a leak. But I forgot my worms for fishing under the car on the ground and I'm more than confident that mice will attack them during the night maybe even right now so I have to go out and get them but not in here but uh, anyway to remove them from the ground 
Mice, they can wreck everything. They will wreck everything. So I hope you all can hear me from over there. I don't have any mics for this uh, camera. Uh, but I think the plan is just eat something. More or less like yesterday. Canned stew, bread and raw garlic. Maybe an apple. And uh, then let's grab the fishing rods and, uh, and let's go fishing basically. So I thought I would be a little bit clever. And uh, pack the tent down in case the rain should start. And I just managed to pack it down and the rain started. So let's see how long this is gonna continue. Uh, if it's gonna continue for a long, long, then maybe we just go fishing anyway. Mobile shelters are awesome. <laughs> and the rain ended just as fast as it started. Not like a small drizzle or anything, it just stopped, but... So, as I always say, these devices here are awesome, let's try and measure. We have our position here, and we have to cross out there, 174 meters. Dum. A little bit less than 500 meters from here, right? Duck, 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 duck. I think out on this part here, it should be pretty all right. Uh, right here, in front of where we are, not so awesome. We are on our way, guys. We are walking in the tracks of this uh, small vehicle. Maybe the guys have been out fishing, had the same idea as me. But well, they definitely came from there, so who the hell knows. But well, I guess they would have been uh, searching for missile, actually. I dug... Uh, Crap load of metal here. Bulldozer tracks and all sorts of stuff. But it uh, seems like they've been driving, hogging the river. But this is a while ago. Seems we have part of an old beaver dam here. And it seems like we have rocks here. That is an extremely, extremely rare sight. Is it rock or is it just this? Clay. This is actually rock, I think. Crazy. That is very interesting. Seems like we have some good open water here. Let's throw out a worm, see what's gonna happen. No shotgun. There's something going on out there. Have something else there. There's another perch. Smaller though. Well, we're getting rained upon a little bit. But the uh, fishing seems to be alright. So uh, screw that. We're gonna uh, continue down there a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna set up a spinner or something like this. Looks like... Uh, Pike territory, somewhere around there, who knows. Alright guys, so got a few more fish, 
But uh, I packed the cameras down because I'm not really sure about the waterproofness of uh, especially that one. It's almost 10 years old. But if you want to support the channel, we can get a new action cam. That'll be awesome. Of course, Russia, demonetization, all that good stuff. So it's a little bit uh, of a rough times. But anyway, this looks promising. We were over there. In that little section, in that little pool there. So uh, let's see what we can uh, do here. We should be able to put a float out and uh, work a little bit with a spinner or something like that on, along that bank there. Could be some pike standing in there. Who knows? Something going on. Whoop. We have something, I think. No. We almost had something. I think we have something on this guy here. Yeah, we have. It seems to be not that small actually. <laughs> That's definitely a perch. The first one I got was not a perch. But this is a perch and not a bad one for this uh, location here. So I have something else. I'm trying to set up this spinner. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Not sure what it is. I'm sure it's not a perch. Maybe it's a uh, saroga. They're actually quite nice eating. Not too many bones and stuff. So I have this guy here. Wait, damn, I think we have another fish there. Just a second. And then we have this little wobbler and a spinner. Let's see. Do we have a. No, it's stranded in there. Oh, bye. Stranded by the current. That is a little guy. I don't know what it is. But I know I'm gonna throw it back out again. And we're almost ready with the spinner. <laughs> I think we're gonna set this little wobbler as we call it in Danish first. It's like a small fish replica. We have something. But it's not fighting very hard. Is this small guy again or what? No, it's not. Oh, not too bad. Let's try this little wobbler here first, as we call it. I don't know how it works uh, with this rod here. Actually, you can see it has like a shovel here in the front and uh, three or two triple hooks so let's see how that goes let's see how it goes but it should simulate some uh, fish in trouble and so on but i don't know this line here is very heavy so i don't know how far how far can we cast this little guy here I can see, oh, it goes out there. There are wobblers which uh, you can see. It looks pretty much like a fish, I don't know if you can see it. Well, there are wobblers which float and which sink slowly and this is a slow sinking guy. And let's see what we can do. I don't know if you can see that pole over there. Over there. It looks like somebody set a pike trap at some point. We can of course do that. Now we have some action out there, but that's it's best to set them overnight.
Almost. Definitely. Oh, there's not much worm left. We'll try once more. But it's often a bad idea to be to be uh, greedy on the worms. Just set new one. And I dug a lot of worms. So we're trying to change location here. And uh, so far, it's much easier to be on the river. Sandy so far. Crazy forest. Seems to be a lot of fish down there. If we could just get down there and up again, it was difficult to get up earlier. <laughs> It's extremely steep here. I think that we're gonna try here. We have something. Something which is fighting a little bit. Oh, that's another that's another perch. That was pretty fast actually. Standard size perch for this area. We have something else. Oh, there's another perch. That's a little bit bigger. There's a lot of perch around here, I can see. Not too bad. I think we can still make a classic Russian in the village soup. Uhu. Uha. Thunder's getting closer. It's really difficult to throw from in here. It feels small. Two ducks. It is small. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a shotgun, don't worry. And there's also a lady. And we don't shoot the uh, lady ducks. <laughs> Alright guys. I lost hook and sinker. And uh, yeah. It's almost, what is it, 15.31, I think we're just gonna head on out of here, I think that's enough. All right, guys, so it stopped raining. Time to move out of here. I'll get most likely five o'clock or something like this. I'm not bore you with the drive out. So, guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, get on train, get it done, do something awesome. Awesome, you could join me on this actually pretty awesome trip. Dang, it is hot and humid, man. See you in the next one, guys. All right, guys, we're almost back. We can see this Uasik up there. Some guys who do not know the road here. <laughs> but I have a shovel and I managed to get them out. Awesome. Holy crap. They don't know that you just have to drive out there. You see I drove exactly here. <laughs> They, they wanted me to help them to pull them out, but uh, SRV is way too heavy, uh, too, too light. It's 800 kilos. They weigh more than double. I think they almost weigh triple. <laughs> so that's not an option. They try to make it through here. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all, because that's just a swamp, as you can see. So that was a little bit of extra footage, guys. See you in the next one.